I know for probably the past couple nights, uh, a guy has been doing Ali uh, Imran, Surat Al Nisa, and moving on. It's just that we need to understand that in these early chapters of the Quran, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala basically trying to to refine the community in Medina. Remember the Muslims migrated from Mecca to Medina and now many laws are coming into place. Many things were not there before and so many things start coming in. The treatment of women, the relationship, husband-wife relationship, all of that start coming in Ali Imran, Surah an nisa And I think it is so important that when we understand the uh, uh, asbab and nuzul, which is the, the causes of revelation, you enjoy the Quran much more. So it is very good that if you can spend some time to understand the reason, the asbab, uh, for, the, for that particular revelation, and one of them that really stands out with me, that I really love, um, is Surah An-Nisa, verse 43 in the Quran. Um, this particular verse, the asbab for this uh, ayah, where Aisha radiallahu anha, our mother, may Allah be pleased with her, uh, they were, she and a group of people were traveling with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and Somehow or the other, she lost her necklace. And the necklace was not like a very expensive necklace. It's just a ordinary stuff that she had on her neck. And so she said to the Prophet ﷺ that she missed her necklace. And so the Prophet ﷺ, he stopped the whole caravan and had everybody searching for this necklace. And so they spent so much time looking for it. And they, that particular area that they were at, there were no water, it was, you know, it was very dry, and they were spending a long time. So people start going to her father, Abu Bakr, and they were complaining, look what your daughter has done. I mean, she had this whole caravan stop because of this, uh, you know, this necklace, which has no value even. And the Prophet Sallallahu you know, stop the caravan and just get everybody searching. There is a subtle message in this. What is this message? All right, that it talks about relationship. First, the Prophet validate her position that she lost her necklace. It doesn't matter how insignificant that necklace was. The Prophet stopped that and, and the whole caravan, you know, a whole group of people were looking for this necklace. So I want to extract that subtle lesson. I want you to think about yourself one day. You're going to a very special occasion and you're driving out and your wife forgot her pocketbook or something important. What was your reaction, right? What was your reaction that she missed something and say, honey, look, I, I don't have this, can you, turn back, we could get this. I think in a general perspective, we all will be furious. Sunnah is not necessarily only sunnah prayer. Sunnah is following the adab of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, right? And this is the reason why he was considered to be Uswatun Hasana, the best example ever. He validated her, her position of missing the necklace. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the reason for that particular revelation of ayah 43, that's where the ayah of tayammum comes, right? Because it was morning for fajr, there were no water. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that if you know that there are people who are sick or they're in a state of jinnub or and there is no water, then they can put their hand in the sand and make tayammum. That was the asbab. That was the reason for that particular uh, revelation, Ayah 43. And the, the reason for that, the Aisha, 
missed her necklace and they had to over stay overnight looking for it there were no water and so the prophet alayhi gave them i mean allah has revealed that so i think a lesson here that we need to understand that um there are always subtle lessons from the quran and it we become more appreciative of the quran when we can able to understand the the asbab the, the reason for that revelation i pray that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us that we can copy Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, be like him, not only in prayers, but you know, we, we calm ourselves down when we are furious uh, with our spouse and issues, because the Quran speaks so much about relationship, um, you know, within the Surah, to, uh, in Surah Al Imran and Surah Nisa. Jazakumullah khair. As-salamu alaykum.